another night another haul welcome back everybody it's been a minute but we are back it's been a crazy few weeks but you know just trying to chill tonight it is a little later than usual so we'll see how late this takes us but you know i got some uh fun things to open tonight got some cool purchases too so i'm really excited to go through those but uh you know recently in the pokemon community there's been all this you know hype around these crazy box openings logan paul one and some big names getting into it i think logic just made a huge purchase also of a base set charizard like 200,000 200,000 like 16 216,000 something like that but um but yeah there's been a lot of hype recently and it actually had me like thinking you know what let me go back to my childhood collection and make sure I didn't miss anything you know there were some really nice stuff that I've shown in previous videos before but there were some common cards that I wanted to go revisit <clears throat> and there were just three that I found that I was like oh cool I should definitely take these out and put them on the side and uh, how's it going everyone also good to see everybody hope everyone's having a really nice start of the week and uh, yeah hopefully everything's going well but the cards that I found recently where uh, they weren't first edition shadowless, but they were shadowless, which was neat, which I must have some rares somewhere because I have these commons, but I have a Growlithe, Caterpie, and then Machoke, all shadowless. So that's pretty cool. So I definitely gotta dive around a little bit more. Kiki, how's it going? Good to see ya. But yeah, these are some shadowless commons that I found recently, but then I found some really cool purchases that I would want to show off at my uh, card shop. No, we got some homies here. <laughs> yeah, I think we got three people chilling. How's it going, everyone? Yeah, and you know, if you haven't uh, already, you know, subscribe to the channel because uh, hopefully I'll be a little more, um, you know, uh, continuous with my streams. I've been off the past few, you know, week or so. I just got really busy, but. You know, want to show off some fun things. So, this actually, I was uh, FaceTiming the Poke Pro, and he saw this in a display, and I was like, you know what, I gotta snag this. It's not in the best condition, but this is a Mewtwo promo. We got the original years at the bottom, but the illustrator is Christopher Rush, who's a Watsi illustrator that is very famous for his work within Magic: The Gathering, most famously the. Uh, black lotus card so this illustration by him is super cool needed to snag this very happy to have it again you know it's beat up but it was pretty cheap and i was like definitely gonna snag that next one which is actually in pretty good condition sorry my nose is a little stuffy as well I'll try not to sniffle too much with the mic so close but we got this latios ex from roaring Scar skies i believe really nice textured full art and this is in pretty good condition. That actually might be a white spot I can wipe away in there. I don't know if that's a scratch. But there was like some whitening. Centering is pretty good on it too. But I love this Latios because it's kind of like a chubby Latios. He's like looking to the side and it's just... I don't know. I think it's just the angle that makes him a little more ample than <laughs> it might be. But it's a great card. Again, found it at a really nice price too. And then two cards, I just really like this card. I think it's a really fun holographic. But the Smeargle, which I think this has a swirl. Yeah, right on the left of its head over there. I love this holographic from the Neo era. It's just like whimsical. It's using its tail to paint the background. Um, chonkster, exactly. That Latios is such a chonkster. Uh, but this Smeargle is really cool. And then I saw not too far behind it, it's a you know non hollow but it's a first edition which is super cool so i got to scoop these up again for a nice fair deal but uh you know this one is actually in really nice condition both of them are in pretty good condition but the non hollow is in really nice condition and actually as these hard sleeves um as i'm holding these hard sleeves i'm reminded that i ran out i was at card shops earlier and i totally forgot that i was out so Apologies that I won't be able to hard sleeve things going forward. I'm sure there are things I could take out of hard sleeves, so I'm not terribly worried. But the next three purchases I got 
either today or yesterday. These are pretty fun as well. Got this Mew card, which is just lovely. And I might need a little help on the era or set this one is from. I don't recall. It's probably some 2006, so just some like random subset probably. Like, how can you actually see the mural it's drawing in the non-hollow? Exactly. The thing in the non-hollow, you can actually see what it's doing in the other one. You can't. Like, this, maybe you can make out a face in the background, but then boom, yeah, that's what it's drawing. <laughs> There's no way you can tell that's what it's drawing. Almost entirely different cards. But, I have this Mew. What's the ID? 417. And then, like, it's longer one is W8L7K. 76WH. But, uh, do I really swim? No. Okay, I put this next card. Lovely, lovely Lucario Level X. And these Level X cards, you just don't see that much of. So when I saw this, especially such a beautiful border on it, a lot of the time, you know, I'm jealous of other TCGs that have really nice borders because on Pokemon cards, you know, Sometimes you're just given, you know, this is a shadowless, it's awesome, but it's just a yellow border. Like, it's nothing crazy looking. This is a nice border, and actually, I think right on the bottom here, we have the tip of a swirl. So that's pretty cool. It's Pop Series 4 promo. Okay. I, th I thought it would be a promo. Cool. And this last one is a promo as well. The Rayquaza EX, which I believe the regular... One that you find in the set is a very valuable card. This promo one, maybe not as much, but not terrible quality either. Maybe some whitening on the bottom here and the top. The alignment, you know, maybe shifted down. But again, like these borders, mm, lovely, lovely card. And I don't think there's any swirls here. I feel like some swirls that I've seen on my cards recently I've only noticed after the purchase like when I initially saw it I was like oh I want that card and who knew okay and then the last purchase that I'm going to show off before Lucario is Mysterious Treasures awesome I don't that might be the first card from Mysterious Treasures that I have maybe a common or something but that's that's awesome the last purchase which again a little beat up but I needed to grab this. This is an awesome card. E-Reader Typhlosion. This was a snag and a half. I love that even in like the bars of the E-Reader, you got some of the hollow shine as well. We got a nice swirl. You can kind of see it there, right to the left of its mouth. And you know, a little beat up. Not something to get graded. But something definitely very happy to add to the collection. So yeah, those were just some loose cards that I wanted to show off to start. Volcano boy, you know it. Um, but you know, as we get back into these streams, we get back into the tradition of opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh packs to start. So we got some Chaos Impact, and then. I got another Dragon to Legend box that we're going to crack into and hopefully get some uh, Dark Magician Girl, uh, Chaos Impact we're looking for, of course, Starlight Rares, then like, you know, Secret Rare, Star Leech, Seafreet, Abominations Prism, IP, Mascarina, you know, the usual hard to pronounce things. But yeah, let's get right into it. And you know, it'd be awesome if uh, you could like the video, subscribe if you haven't, also got Instagram, go check that out if you are so inclined. Let me crack into some cardboard real quick here. Um, it has been a lovely past few days like almost perfect fall weather the trees are so lovely it's been cr there's a crispness crispness in the air 
Well, it's been nice and sunny, bluebird skies. All right. Yeah, hopefully you all have been able to enjoy the fall as we get into it, or whatever season you find yourself within, wherever you are in the world. All right. Evotile Mecha Corella. Oh, the Solid Snake, the Rock the Johnson is in the set. Oh, hopefully, hopefully I can really hope uh, that we get to try to pronounce that. Dream Mirror Hypnagogia is our first rare. Gladiator Beast United, World Reassembly, Bayonator, Roma Gardening. <clears throat> Solid Snake, Dwayne the Rock, Cardigan. Chobomb Armor Dragon. Ooh, move out of the way, Shadowless Cards. Okay, Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, Arrow Mage Laurel, Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. That is intense looking. Awesome. Blessed Wings, Gladiator Namakia. World Legacy, World Key, Aramage Majorma, Soul Levy, Levy. I just checked, he is. <laughs> you actually want to just like copy pasta the uh, name of it at, in chat? I'm curious what it, uh, what it is. I don't really feel like scrolling through the card list right now. Dino Wrestler, Valiumix. Brian Gear, Salaman Great. Evil Eye Gorgonia, Spiritual Entanglement, Boombaline, that was a fun one I remember, Marincess Battle Ocean, Action Magic, Luna Dark Spirit, alright, that is all for Chaos Impact, and now we get to go into Dragons of Legends, the complete series, where's my letter opener, here it is, a little handy dandy sharp bird, Call it Deandra. No idea what the real name is. It's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johansson. All right. Oh, I forgot that there's a promo card and I might have dropped it. Oh, I've, the dice also. We still have not got that last color. We keep getting the green and the light blue. Pardon me. Oh. Smack the mic. Okay, so we got the Jinzo layered promo card. Very cool. I think I have the Jinzo already. Maybe not. But I do have the 100 Dragon, which I think is the most valuable promo uh, card out of this. But we have the, was it 18 card? Two 18 card packs. These things are intimidating, yo. Okay, so the thing about these is you may have thought you pulled a nice card, but then you found out it is the lowest rarity and it drops the price a good amount. So we're looking for the secret rares of like the uh, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, Eye of Timaeus, Amulet Dragon, Legendary Knight Timaeus, Araz Disciple, Black Sonic so on and so forth so let us see what we can do Ooh, red eyes black dragon sword hopefully that's a sign we can get some nice dragon cards aquatrice fire hand magician angel flower cardian sabatiel scrum force shout out rugby Sport played in heaven. Flower Cardian. Legendary Knight Critius. Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. Wild looking. Look at that hollow shine. Awesome. Tune Mask. Shout out Tune Cards. Raid Raptor. Red Nova. Cyber Angel. Flower Gathering. Battle Fusion. The suppression Pluto and number 59 okay 
few of those cards might be worth a few bucks here and there. Make sure to always check out your TCG player website for card price lists. Guardian Dread Scythe, Snow Plow. Oh man, I'm looking forward to the snow already so much. Where I am, snow is amazing. Up in the northern lands. Express Train, Rising Sun, Black Cat, Dark Dragon, number 98. Kura Bandit. I think I remember this guy from uh, older sets. Number 100, Numeron Dragon. Awesome looking. Golden Shenron. Toon Kingdom. Cool. Now, I think the purple font color on a lot of these is like one of the lower rarities. Flash Fusion. Flower Cardian. Relay Soul. Number 51, Mirror Force Dragon. Aquatrus Tetra, Red Eyes Burn. Okay. You know, nothing too crazy that immediately stood out. I'll definitely make sure to check all those again. But now, we actually have a lot of different Pokemon stuff to go through, which I'm very excited about. It's a nice variety. We're gonna take our time, enjoy it all. There's a mountain of it up there. The snow. There's quite a few mountains up here of it. Um, so I got some loose packs that I just wanted to go through to start. We'll uh, we'll go with this Burning Shadows to kick it off. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, fire to start us. Hopefully that's gonna be a nice sign for the rest of these packs. Maybe not this one, but the rest. <laughs> Lava Fett, Astrola, Gloom, Alolan Grimes, Rialu, <laughs> Tooth Pinder, if you won't, Togedemaru, Azumarill, and Tangrowth is the non hollow rare. Got a fun little evolutions pack for us right now. Mount Snow. There is a Mount Snow in this in this land. Alright, evolutions, we got three. Always remember three. Let's do grass right now. Oh, I guess it'll just be a Charmeleon. Did I do that right? Okay, I think I did. Professor's Oak, Nidorino, Voltorb, Diglett, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu. Put it off to the side, you know it, Sandrew, and Mewtwo EX. Second pack in, first pull of the night cool i feel like mewtwo is one of my top pulled pokemon cards just like the pokemon in general he really likes popping up for me cool it's probably like a buck or two card right here not too shabby then we got a few of these cosmic eclipse um booster packs snagged at the Local GameStop. And two EX. Yeah, I don't. That might be my first one of this as well. And you know what? There's a nice recurring theme of pretty borders so far this night. This one, it's got a nice reflection all across. Hopefully, we get some full art cards to keep up with that. And Cosmic Eclipse pretty cool if we can get a Charizard in Brakeson. These were loose. Or how did I get these? Oh no, they were just obviously in the cardboard. I was like, were these in a booster box that maybe something was pulled so far? But nope. No way of telling where these packs came from. Red and blue. I saw that card on sale. Card shop. I was almost going to buy it because I really like the full art. Really off tile. I feel like this is such a, like, no offense, but like half assed art. It's like, oh yeah, let's do the outline of something and color it in yellow and make its head look like a piece of candy. Cosmog, Slugma, Whalmer, Beware, and Palosand. Palosand. I don't know, I said that kind of weird. All right. But 
uh, anyone do anything cool the past weekend or, you know, maybe any nice uh, nature experiences or if you cracked in any packs, you pull anything good, go to any card shops safely, of course, um, and find any, you know, good, good things that you purchased. Flareon. I honestly, I really like all the evolutions, so I wish every time they showed up that they were a rare. Iglypuff, Will, you're sensing a big pull, okay. Rowlet, Phantom, Alolan Grimes, Magnemite, Eevee. Eevee can be a common, but the rest I think should be rares or higher. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Ooh, Reshram and Zekrom GX. Awesome card. That is dope. Hey, you're right. Maybe not like the biggest pull, but this is a very nice pull. All of the Walmarts in New Jersey have Marshadow figure collection boxes. Shout out people living in Jersey. Hit up your Mar Walmarts for Marshadow collection boxes. If you're looking for them. Alright. Last Cosmic Eclipse pack. Before we move on. I'm not going to spoil all the goodness that we have tonight. Torkoal is chief in that stuff. Skrelp, Pikachu off to the side. Also, isn't this... Or at least it reminds me. No, it's not the same because the background is different. There's like a Neo Pikachu that is doing like that same like tucked in cannonball look. And I actually might have it nearby. But glad I could have that. Nose pass, Lycanroc, Reverse, and a Swana. We know we, how we feel about things related to Swanas. A little flash. Dun dun. Okay, so those were some loose packs. And the next thing I saw at a store and I was like, you know what? I don't think I've opened this one yet because I don't have the figure. So, it's a Silvalli figure collection box. I know that camera wasn't really that great at showing it off. Here we go. So Silvalli figure collection. Again, the lighting kind of it's poor, so I'm just going to crack this open and I'll show you what we got inside. Yeah, Neo Genesis Pika, exactly. Very, very similar art. Okay, so we have, which is, of course, very difficult to get out without bending, a Sil Valley promo card. There we go. Which we got right there. Nice. Then we have the Sil Valley. Oh, I really, I didn't really notice its claw just sticking out like that. Figure collection. Figurine. No, I said collection there. Then we have Crimson Invasion, Ancient or Origins, another Crimson Invasion, and then Evos. Oh. Never seen this inside of a box interesting what is this pokemon center slash new it's just showing off new things you can get but this is in a new box so some of this stuff is not the newest stuff kind of like that hat though surf and pikachu with who's on the brim i don't know just a bunch of different pokemon i guess okay let's put this in order of excitement Crimson Invasion. The Ugly Guzzlord is going first. Ancient Origins, I know. There's plenty of things I would love to pull from Ancient Origins. Alright, Sun and Moon. I got X and Y too, so I gotta make sure to change up the card trick halfway through. I had his fly. Yeah, it really was. Okay, Dark. A Wild Grumpig. Stravia. Salandit, Starly, Skiddo, 
Another Pikachu. I'm loving how many Pikachus are showing up. Alolan Geodude, Octillery, and Mamoswine. I never, never complain when a Pikachu shows up. Crimson Invasiones. All right. Fighting. A Selgor, Kakuna Matata, Loose Mime, Phoebus, Salandit, Pumpkaboo, Corphish, Starly, Swinub, Oranguru. It's cool. It's cool. We're going into Ancient Origins. $30 Gyarados and Crimson. That'd be amazing. That, is that the Secret Rare Gyarados? I thought that was out of a like, breakpoint. I think I might be thinking of a different one. But we got a white code card out of Ancient Origins. It's a Poke Pro. Buckle in. Three for this one. Yeah. Alright. Let's go Grass type. It's about time. Oh, no. I forgot that it can be like a trick for these XY. It can be like anything, really. Alright. Gloom. Oh, the Rainbow Gyarados. Right, right, right. Eevee. Cute pie. Porygon, Handron. It's not only Handron, it actually has like, it's hard to pick up on the camera, but it has this texture texture to it that is really interesting that, because it's obviously printed on here, but they've imprinted what the texture would look like, which is interesting. I know that was super vague. Ball toy, Malama, Golet, another one. Is that Golit like a darker blue? Am my eyes deceiving me? No, it is. That arm. You can definitely tell right there. It's like a darker blue. Buckaroos, let's go. Mega Tyranitar EX. Wow, that really is looks like a Godzilla card. Nice. Lovely. Definitely have not pulled this one before because I have not opened enough. Ancient Origins in my day, but Evolutions, even on green code cards, there are good things to pull. Of course, you could maybe get a Pikachu, which is amazing art, because it's OG. There's Secret Rares to pull. There's a lot of fun stuff to come out of Evolutions packs, even on green code cards. So never give up faith. And sometimes there's packs where green code it's a green code card, and you still get a full art. It's just like some random error pack. See it all the time on Instagram. Professor Oaks, double energy. There we go. There's the Pikachu. Machop, Weedle, Da Duo, Staryu. Ooh, Charmeleon Reverse Hollow. Actually, someone's probably looking for to complete their Charizard sets and needs this card. So that I think I'm gonna sleeve up. And then a Dugong. All the starters from Evo definitely sleeve up because, um, you know, at this point in time, they might not be worth that much. But if you just see what's happening with other cards that are 5, 10, 15, 20 years old, someday this card will be. And there you go. Um, okay, so that was the first box that I'm going to go through. The next thing that I found, I haven't opened up one of these in so long because I have one here on my display that I was like nah I like that a lot sealed I'm gonna leave it that way but a tag team tin I got the Lucario and Melmetal one which I was a little more you know okay with opening I guess and it was a nice price as well yeah exactly sleeve up anything pertaining to a Charizard the promo cards in all of these tins are amazing almost a reason to get the tins themselves on top of there being some really good sun and moon packs in here but get this out this one is so bad ass melmetal lucario ready to kung fu fight together the metal man so cool um, and I'll actually, since I'm talking about the other 10, I'll at least show it off. It's within arm's reach. 
it's uh, the Mewtwo in Mew 10 in that promo, I think is one of the best promos ever made in Pokemon. Mew, Mew and Mewtwo. Mewtwo clearly getting annoyed about like Mew's gleefulness and you know they're clearly like friendly with each other and it's awesome it's a great great card and a great product to keep sealed and what's really cool in this too you get these more weighted metal tag team um, markers but then the packs inside will reveal them all together cosmic eclipse Lost Thunder, not bad. Celestial Storm, haven't opened that in a while. And then Evolutions, wow. That is very, very exciting. So we'll actually do it in that exact order as well. We throw a sleeve on this promo. Yeah, the promos for these tins, if you see them in Walmart, which is the only place I've seen them, get them. Like, don't even, don't even think about it, get them. Really, really great packs. And those promos are great. I think like the MSRP is 20, 25 bucks for them. That Mewtwo Mew um, tin is like 55, 60 bucks online. Um, you know, people are selling it for that value, I mean. All right, so let's get into some more packs. Okay, hopefully I don't run out of room here. Keeping it semi-organized. All right, this was a cosmic. All of these are gonna be a four card trick. Fairy, RIP, but not really, because in Champion's Path, there might be some Champion's Path later. Tune in. Um, has all the hollow uh, energies, so I guess it's not necessarily RIP Fairy right now. Iglybuff, Carvans, Dipic, Togdemars, Onyx, Whalmer, Raichu, and then a Beware, Non-Hollow, Rehair. Okay. Got a Lost Thunder coming at you. So much trash on the floor. Psychic. Ariados, Moo Moo Milk. Vesquen, Combi, Lit Leo, so lit. He's a little Leo that's lit. Cute fly. Hop it. Back fairy and CP for no reason. I know, yeah, like you can still have like play fairy cards, I guess, in the TCG, obviously. But for where they're going, the sake of that or longevity, I don't know if it really makes sense. Tangla, Chincho, and Rabombi on hollow rare okay we're hitting a cooler a little bit but we got celestial storm and i don't know why feels a little weighty of a pack get a good pull off lost thunder well i guess you stole all the luck for me at least tonight fire grovile lantern Shell gone. Shout out tiny Pokemon that evolve into something badass. Bell Sprout. That's literally the Bell Sprout Brigade right there. Shout out loot box. Spoink. Electrike. Ridge Ice. And a Metacham. Non hollow poop. Okay. Evolutions is going to be the last pack of this tin. I'm glad I opened this. I haven't opened one of these in a while. And I don't know if I ever had that Lucario Mel Metal promo. So I'm glad I do. Because the art isn't very like cartoony on there. Looks like not hand drawn, just really, really nice digital art style. Energy retrieval, Venusaur Spirit Link. Oh yeah, also your Charizard Spirit Links. Sleeve those up. I mean I guess any of the starter evolution spirit links you could. But um, people really want to complete their Charizard sets, so you should keep those in the reverse hollow ones. Polyrath. Oh. 
Didn't even notice. Didn't happen. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> what did I want to open next? Oh, right. I guess I was kind of going like somewhat chronologically in the order of things I was opening. So I guess technically next would be ugh, in the chronology of orders. Darkness ablaze. And we got a Galarian surfetched box. Didn't happen. Didn't happen, dude. Move on. <laughs> um, we got a Galarian surfetched box, which I haven't opened one of these yet. So I thought I would. And you know, I, I kind of have slowed down a lot with Darkness Ablaze because I hadn't pulled the Zard yet. I had opened a good amount of that stuff. But, you know, support local card shops, grab some packs, and uh, and I wanted to open some more with y'all, and maybe get another chance at pulling that D-Max Charizard, because I actually have pulled already twice the Charizard V, so I don't need that one again, I was just showing off those quick promos, I wasn't really talking about them, because... You know, Glaring Surfetch is actually pretty cool. And I was actually talking about this with my one of my buddies um, earlier. Is the Galarian Surfetched is one of the few, if not the only, Galarian alternative to a Pokemon that its name changes. Like the second part. Like obviously they all have Galarian now part of the name, but the Surfetched part. Is there any other Pokemon? Am I just having a brain fart and that's maybe a stupid question but yeah I don't know um, so we had two darkness ablaze evolutions and sword and shield so before we get into the darkness ablaze officially I guess we'll get into these sword and shield and evolution pack I haven't opened sword and shield in a long time I haven't pulled those gold cards did I pull the gold Zamazenta? Maybe that one. Definitely not the Zacian, though. So that'd be cool. Psychus to bring us into this one. Double. Which, this could be foreshadowing to a product we might get into. Quillfish, Pokekid, Rosalia, Pharaoh Seed. I thought that was like an ink on it. Krabby, Zigzagoon, Glossifleur, Durant. Sable Eye V. Nice. Any other time in this box would be hot, right? Got released same day as Champion's Path. Like, what? <laughs> what's the point of this box, really? All right, evolutions. White code on an evolutions. You know what? Feeling generous. Anyone wants to snag that? If you're still watching, if you're tagging along right now, here's a code for you. It's a white one. Oh, knocked my camera. Let me know what you got, too. No one ever tells me what they get from online codes. And I wish someone did. Like one person. That would be nice. Okay. Evolutions, three cards. I did it right this time. Trainer Oaks Hint. Metapod. Switch. Magnemite. Voltorb. Sandshrew. Poliwag. Diglett. See some shiny. Ghastly. And Mewtwo EX. I pulled this one the other week also. I'm telling you, Mewtwo loves following me around. And it's... It's my buddy also in Pokemon Go. Wow. I got the Mewtwo in New York City when it was first released in Pokemon Go in 2016 or 17. That was so intense. I was on my lunch break and I was like running to the raid to make it there. Just got it in time like before my phone died. I literally screenshot it. It was at like 1%. Sent it to the Poke Pro and he was like, did your phone die? Did you actually catch it? And I did. But <laughs> I'm telling you, Mewtwo just really loves following me around. 
Shadow Mewtwo is available right now. Okay, I gotta go get some uh, remote raid passes and do that with you and Jesse then. Okay, Darkness of Blaze time. We got quite a few packs to try our luck at it. Let's see what happens. Fighting to take us into, we're fighting our way through Darkness of Blaze. There we go. Big Paracel, have that in the Japanese gold card. Clarin Darumox, Larvita, Nicket, Snubble from the research. Oh, -ho -ho. that would make more sense, I guess. Turbo Patch and Galarian Slowbro V. Turbo Patch Gold would actually be really nice to pull as well. I've actually been looking for that one for a while. Okay. We've actually gotten a fair amount of pulls tonight. And I don't know if there's going to be any Mewtwo's going forward. No. In the sets, no, I don't think there's any Mewtwo's that we're going to be going through. Well, either way, we're going to do some raids soon. Okay, hold on. My bulk pile is like right under my arm like knock it over okay there we go i can rest my arm again without it was like floating my arm here not knocking things over and i was getting tired <clears throat> familiar bell rose tower diglet wanting to escape a chubby freaking squirrel panpour teddy ursa mareep vic volt v we're we're getting pulls it's just unfortunate that in these sets that contain Charizards, you just get your mindset on wanting to pull that. And when you don't, you're like, oh, okay. Let's keep trying. <laughs> but, uh, Corvusquire, Hiding Energy, Fletchinger, Tauros, Rookity, Galarian Mime. Electrike, Clink. Thank you, sir. I, I really do appreciate that. Clink and Serena. People sometimes forget the power of kind words. You never know if someone's having a bad day. And the simplest, hello, how you doing? Hope all is well. Type of th Stuff like that can really go a long way now of course there is social awareness and some people don't always want to be spoken to and so you have to be able to read you know read a room and stuff like that but and also if you're having a bad day saying hi to someone or being kind to others might make your day better you never know Torchic, Aaron, a Aaron, Rookie D and Hydreigon non hollow Rhea. Darkness. Blazem. Hearts out to everybody. Everybody. It's getting dark. Vanillish. Shinodic. Purloin. Starlies. A. Aaron. Snotty Cub Chew. Roulette, Heatran, and Kling Clang. Oh man, I really like hitting my camera tonight. Beating it up. Wait, hold on. There we go. Alright, we got three Darkness Ablaze packs left. I'll give you a, a product count. We got four things to go through. Four sealed products left. They vary in sizes. Some have a lot of things in it. Some don't. Ooh. Grass. Is this going to be good luck right here? Puptar. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Fletchender. Scratch your nose for the Meltan. Bunnelby. Trippy Bunnelby. Purs. Larvitar. Golet. Dracovish. Blaziken. Hollow. This is the first regular Hollow we pulled tonight. I think every white code that we have pulled has been a V or higher. 
That's kind of nice. I didn't even realize that until now. I almost forgot that hollows existed. <laughs> All right. Metal, ferret, flaffy, rooks, wish wash, and sage, diglet, quang, bramble, non hollow rare. Okay. Grim Snarl taking us home with the last Darkness Ablaze pack. Let's see what this white code can give us right now. And it's another white code grass. That's like doubling up on our luck right now. Reap Snubble. Suicune, Hollow. I like Suicune though, so I'm not too mad. There's no way that was gonna be the V Mard, V Max Charizard on that last card. I just, it could have been, but like, there's no way. Okay, so before we get into the last genre of product, I saw this guy and I was like, I have not bought. First of all, there's almost never a reason to buy these but um you know it had toxicity on it i wouldn't mind having this on my shelf um after i open it but uh what we got in here two packs a tin and a pokemon art card showing art from this mini tin you can collect and combine all five if you were so inclined no there's really no point the two packs for this price and what is that a lichen rock? I actually really like the sparkle on that. Oh, okay. Interesting. What is that art piece? Nice. So we got the toxicity art right there as well. But we got a sun and moon and darkness ablaze. Because these are the new fall 2020 um, Galar region tins. I guess that's what they're called. Um, so we had the sun and moon. I was curious what was going to be in here. So it's cool to see uh, a pretty up-to-date set and then a sun and moon base. Cool. Must collect and acquire. You have to. Get all five now. Drop what you're doing. <laughs> sun, moon, yeah, still four. Psychic. Oh, didn't put my reverse hollow over there. Herderer. Crushing Hama, Charge Bug, Litten, Stuffle, Re, Eevee, Dewpider, Poliwag, another Eevee, Espeon, GX. Ugh, I love Eeveelutions. Which is like interesting. I'm not a cat person, but I just have a soft spot for these Eeveelutions. And that is a stunner. Look at that. I love when. You know, there definitely is more than two colors in here, but the dominant ones are like the silver and purple. And when it's, you know, just dual chromatic like that, lovely. Okay, got this Darkness Ablaze pack. This tin, let's see what we got. Is it gonna be fire? It's an old PC, that's not too fire. Marines, Torchic, heating it up again. Starly, Skarmory, Pansage, Spike Moth, Dracozolt. I like Dracozolt though. Those like mistake Pokemons. Those are all so unique and awesome. Alright. So. We've come this, this far. It's been quite a night. How long have we been going? What's, uh, what's going on? Analytics. We've been going, you know? Time's passed. We're all chilling. But, uh, you know, the time has come to try our hand at. Ooh. Oh, that's a Farlene. I don't want to fall out of my chair. The time has come. Simba. We're 
going into the champion. We are walking the champion's path yet again. And trying to find... Oh man, all those... All of those shiny cardboards. All the shiny cardboards. Champion's Path has not been too kind to us yet. We've actually done the same exact um, you know, style of opening for Champion's Path that we're going to do right now. We have two double V boxes that we will promptly be getting into. And then a whole Champion's Path ETB to finish the night. So we are guaranteed seeing a Charizard because we have that lovely, lovely promo. But we have to make our way there, ascend the champion's path, and earn our Charizards. Alright, double. Sorry, you're you're gonna lose a spotlight. You know what, I'm gonna crack this other dub wall right now. Expedite this a little bit. They're barely cats, no whiskers, they're feline canines. I do feel like they lean more towards the feline side of things. Maybe less so EV in its base form. Well, no, you're right. I guess they are all like a little bit of both. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I guess I can like them in real life too, because I'm not terribly allergic to them then. Alright. I've extrapolated all of the Champion's Path packs from the two boxes. So we have right now eight Champion's Path packs. Alright. You know what? I'm actually going to be... This is really irregular, and I'm going to try to be really quick. But I will be right back. Making a bowl of cereal. Maybe. I wish I had cereal. <laughs> what are you casting a spell over there? Alright. The champion's path. It's now commencing. Pack. Ooh, these cards are so crisp. 
I love new card feel. Some people like new pack smell. Not too about about inhaling my packs like that, but to each their own. Victini Hop, Pokemon Lit Center Lady, Renoon, Weedle, Inke, Hatina, Trubbish, Arbok, and a Whale Lord V to start our journey. Okay, excuse me. Let me get some of the sleeves ready. What do I got here? Some Zamazenta sleeves. Quite the amount of pulls tonight. Really enjoying that. Alright, not looking at what color the codes are. Well, I think they're actually all white. Never mind. Right? Yeah, they're all white. Kabu. Victini. So... Last time I opened Champion's Path, I opened an Elite Trainer box in these two bo uh, double Vs, and <laughs> um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, there were so many just holographic regular cards. It was frustrating, so I'm hoping that won't be the too much of the case. There's like Altaria's, Hatterene actually was not one of them, so not too upset about that, but I'm pretty sure I've... Like millions of Altarias over there. I'm not too much of a fan about. Alright. Hop, Arbok, Sharps, Potion, Rock Ruff, Hatna, Trovish, Nicket, Milo, and Altaria. There it is. I'm telling you, there's a plague of those flying clouds. Pokey senses are tingling that there might be some more regular hollows showing up that I'm not gonna be a fan about. But let's let's keep our hopes up. Wait, okay. I'm trying to not like have the back card be revealed. Because it actually could be something right now. Lucario V. Another really awesome Lucario art, though. Like, really nice style on that. Okay, getting like nervous over this Champion's Path stuff. Whew. Hands are getting shreddy. Millions. Millions of Altarias. Darth Plagueis the Wiz. <laughs> Alright, let's do a guess on this. Water. Ooh, okay. If it's my lucky energy and I don't guess it, does that make it unlucky? Hopefully not. Bead. Good old bead. Swab Blues. Hakuna Matats. Adarine. Lycanroc. Hollow. Alright. Going a little quick through these. I'm just like, wanna, wanna get something good. These cards are in the packs too. They're just like nicely shrink wrapped, right to these super crisp cards. This is, this is really nice. There's the water. Oh, we got something in the back. Milo. Rotom phone. Pokeball, Kakuna, Swablu, Weedle, Rockruff. There we go. I love seeing those. And then a Duraludon V. I actually don't have any Duraludons yet. But double hit. And actually, look at that. The energy matches up with the V. Boom, boom. That's really cool, actually. Okay, second to last champions pack, pack of these boxes. But we ain't done with this set quite yet. Not quite yet. Open it like it's your first pack and you'll win. The sage advice for anyone trying to win a battle royale game. 
play it like it's your first game. Humble, composed, on edge in a healthy way, staying alert and vigilant. Oh, professor's research. All right, I'll open this pack like it's my first pack ever. Gardevoir. Let's do it. I believe in you. I believe in Gardevoir. Not the best centering on this. Alright. Electric. Because Charizard can do Thunder Punch. Let's go. Hatchrim. Looking out. Beautiful. Let's leave them all, even the commons. Champ. Something very, very bulky. Alright. Now it is time for the final piece of the stream, but also the largest. The Champion's Path ETB. Beautiful. Ten packs are in here. An amazing promo card is in here. Some dope sleeves are in here. You may be seeing this for a very high price, either at secondhand uh, stores, people that are, you know, purchasing it individually. If you've been lucky enough to find them in Walmart for the 50, 60, whatever value price, that's amazing. But, um, you know, this one was a little higher than that, but less than other places online that I've seen. So I was like, why not? Be nice and gentle with all of this. I just wanna safely get my promo card out of here. There it is. There it is, dude. The lovely, lovely. My second one that I've now opened from an ETB. Awesome. These are the sleeves I was talking about. Those are so dope. Got all those energies on the background. And then, of course, you got your, like, dividers, energy, code card, like, product manual, dice, um, damage, markers, the usual ETB stuff. Not going to go through it right now. But you have 10 packs right now. There have been 10-pack ETBs before, but... I mean, there is no but. It's, it's awesome when they show up. And we get to open another one. So that's why they might be a little bit more than the usual ETB price also is there are two more packs than usual. But I guess without further, let me, let me actually do a little shuffle. Just so I can open it my own, you know, destiny or fate. Not what the production line chose for me. All right, starting out with an ice cream cake pack art. So much trash on the ground right now. Believe in us, Lightning, believe in us. Milo, Rotom Phone, Hatna, Lanoon. Man, my common piles are getting big. Pokeball, Scrags. Perloin, Milo, Lycanroc, Hollow. Champion's Path, oh, Champion's Path. What do we get to so far? Like two Vs. Hollow Energy. 
shouldn't give up hope, but like, there are times. It's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Two packs in a promo, 10 seasons in a movie. I think Childish Gambino finally said that he is available. Maybe not now because of COVID and stuff, but they did say that they were going to do a movie eventually. It was all a matter of availability for the cast. Holy Coley. Oh, Elteria, you son of a gun. All right. get another hollow energy also let's get a hollow grass energy I'd like that I like that guess not guess not in this pack at all these more recent sets man darkness ablaze champions path even I tried my luck at <clears throat> hidden fates again recently they just I've gotten my good pulls in the past but recently I've been on a been on a cooler fire is this gonna be fire we will see Trubish Zigzagoon Inke Malamar and a Marnie and a freaking Marnie. Want to use my sleeves? Come on. Arceus, what are you doing up there? Send down your almightiness and help me out. Please. Pair Favor. Psychic. Rotom. Great Ball. Kakuna Matats. Zigzagoon, Carvans, Scragoon, Swell Blues, Pierce, Machamp. All right, we have half of this TV left. I think I opened two double boxes. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's really even worth hunting the Zard because it's only going to climb its way down in price, I think. Or it kind of has already done that because it was super high and then went to like a more understandable price, I guess. There was just that immediate hype about it. People wanted it right off the bat. Another Werelord V for us, I guess. It's a pull. <laughs> Pulled nothing but tears and broken dreams. Yeah, Whale Lord is just, you know, not not helping with the uh, building up of the excitement at this point. Not cutting it. All right, grass. Let's see what you want to do for us. Our box. Pokey Purloin. Waddell. Galarian Zigzagoon. Early Coley. Team Yelgrunt. And another Hollow Trainer card. And then there were three. And then there was three at 12.30 a.m. on now a Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, everyone. How's it going so far? You enjoying your Tuesday? <laughs> and maybe it's been Tuesday for y'all. Maybe it's not Tuesday yet. It's crazy. It's like you're time traveling. Or maybe I am. How does that work? 
Sonia, great ball. Okay, there might be something in the back here. Let's let's hope for not a whale lord V. But something that's gonna make us excited. Feeling good about the second to last pack. Alright. Let's see what third to last has for us. Dreadnought V Max. Okay. We got some textured showing up in our lives. I think I pulled this last CP opening. But hell, I'll take a textured card for sure. As long as it's not like the uh, stun fisk or whatever the heck they put in these. Tuesday's been amazing. Nice, dude. Glad to hear it. Alright, this is the second to last one. Rotom, Beedrill, Shoutout, Ando, who I think hates Beedrill, Weedle, Ekans, Carvans, Pokey, Potion, Purloin, the Cursed Bird. Yeah, I think you cursed that second to last pack. What happened there? <laughs> Disco discount Blastoids, yep. All right, this is the last pack of the night. We do have a size bowl review to go through. Not much from Champion's Path, though. It's gonna be the last pack for right now. Maybe last from Champion's Path from a little. I don't know, it all depend on what I see out there. But, uh, let's go. I'm getting like condensation on this because I'm schwitzing. Beedrill. Turfield, Milo, Machamp, Vulpix, Potion Lotion, Carvans, Kakuna. Alright, put in your bets now. <laughs> I dropped the Pokeball. That's not good. Did, did a Pokemon get out? As the sad piano starts, a Marnie is pulled. It happens. That's why we do what we do. Find out what you're gonna get, and then you try it all again. But let's uh let's do a little review for now. All right. Wow covered a lot of stuff so most recently pulled the dreadnought v max a whale lord v this is actually one of the f probably the first duraludon i know he's a newer pokemon but i don't think i have any duraludon cards it's the first one i have but this nice hollow metal energy which actually came out of the duraludon pack so that was kind of cool see both of the um, energy and the Pokemon pulled have their energies match up. The Lucario, another Whalelord V, lovely Espeon GX. Ooh, let me get this in here. A Vicavolt, Valerian Slowbro, Mewtwo EX. I'm telling you, me and him are pals. Sableye. Promo Lucario Mel Metal from that uh, Tag Team Tin. Reverse Charmeleon. The Mega Tyranitar EX. The Reshram Zekrom from Cosmic Eclipse. And then the Mewtwo EX from a Evolutions that started us off. So that was, that was quite the amount of pulls for sure. We got a lot of things tonight. Actually, when you look at it like this... I don't think all of these add up to, you know, the price of everything paid. Yeah. Well, hope everyone enjoyed. For those that have stuck around this long, thanks so much. For those, you know, just tuning in now, you can definitely rewatch the goodness and see where we were at. But uh, hope everyone has an amazing rest of 
their day, week. Um, hope you have a great upcoming weekend. Hope all is well. And I am probably going to go hit the hay. So I will catch you all.